Hi everyone, so you are joining me on the floor, kind of, because I was thinking I have way too many cosmetics, or maybe like, uh, mainly like um, makeup stuff, and for like an average person, and I was thinking of downsizing and decluttering for a while, I've been just kind of putting it away in time, but I can't do it any longer, I feel like. So I thought maybe I would record the process and show you what I'm keeping and what I'm getting rid of and like my reasoning behind it. Um, and yeah, and just go through my stuff and try to minimize. <laughs> so this is all my stuff. At least I hope that's all. I think I tried to look like through purses and stuff and this should be everything. So yeah, uh, it's gonna be a decluttering, makeup decluttering video. So I hope you enjoy this and let's keep watching. Okay, so I'm gonna lay everything out. This is all of the makeup I own. At least I think that it's all. So I'm just gonna lay it out here. This is like, uh, this is where I keep my day-to-day -day makeup. Although right now there's more, so I just kind of threw things in. But usually I will use this to store my makeup that I use when I go to uni and stuff like that. Maybe I will try to categorize it a little bit uh, so it's easier for me to go through it. I'm gonna put the lip products in this one. Okay, so this is everything kind of laid out. So these are my primers and like sprays, foundations, uh, powders, brow stuff, concealers, bronzers, blushes, highlighters, eye stuff, so like liners and mascaras, lip products, which I didn't realize I had this many, and eyeshadows, singles, palettes, yeah. So that's that's how it's looking right now it's a bit more than i expected but yeah uh it's time to go through it i do have a few more products uh put away but they are like backups of things i know i like and use a lot so i didn't bring them here for example i have a backup of this powder which as you can tell it's almost out so i also have a backup of this mascara which is my favorite so yeah, they're not here because they're unopened. Let's get to it and let's start with maybe this category. I'm going to move the concealers. Uh, this is primers and some sprays. Uh, this I'm going to get rid of because the spray on it is broken. Like it's 
it gets stuck sometimes i won't spray it so i don't make like the blanket wet but it gets stuck sometimes and it's really annoying and it also doesn't give much so this is gonna go out and i'm gonna put the stuff i'm not keeping in this tray so it's first thing to go in there okay this is actually not what it says um it's a different essence spray and it's like a mattifying one i actually like this one they keep it perfect but i don't know if they make it anymore um i don't know i think i should just give it another try maybe and to see see how i get along with it and if it's not good i'm gonna get rid of it i'm actually gonna in this box I'm just gonna wipe it i'm gonna put the things that i'm gonna give one last chance basically so this is gonna be the first thing to go in here and uh, this is like um so the beauty primer 316 degrees anti-shine from a brand called aa uh pretty sure it's a polar brand thing is this bottle is leaking and i also didn't really like the uh, the primer it was supposed to be uh, like anti-shine, like you know, to mattify and like fill in the pores. I don't feel like it did that for me, so I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna get rid of this one too. This one I actually enjoy, so this is staying. Okay, next up, foundation. Okay, so this one actually is uh, the only BB cream I have, but it's really old and also it just slides off the face and falls apart, so I'm going to get rid of that. And the rest I think I'm going to keep. I really like this one. I mean, it's a favorite of other people. Uh, if I need my foundation to stay on the whole day, this is what I use and it's like half empty, so it's definitely well loved. Um, I like these for in the summer, but I have two shades. I mean, they're both pretty light. This one's almost empty. I like them more for like a natural effect and I mix them or in the summer I use 105. And the winter I also used 100, which was like a um, very good match for me. Uh, keeping the both, I really like them and I don't feel like there's much left in them either. So they're staying. This is a, this is the newest one for me. And what I actually do, because I feel like this is a bit pinky for me. Although it is, uh, I think, the lightest shade. It's 20 Ivory. I mix it with this one. Which is from Essence. Because this one is like very light. Like, um yeah i'm way too pale on this so i mix them both and and kind of creates the perfect color for me uh this is more like um more coverage this one and this is like a light it's called like a fresh wear so they kind of make something in between together so i like them both they're staying next i think i'm also gonna have to mix maybe the uh the l'oreal one with this one because this on itself is way too heavy and also it like it darkens up quite a bit as far as i remember so i'm gonna have to try that again but for now it's staying and i also could uh, use this with that i actually think i did that a few times these are lighting drops from catrice and there's not much left because i use it actually a lot because loads of the foundations are were or are just too dark for me. So this is a good product for that. This one, I remember I really liked like the foundation itself. But again, I feel like this one is... Like it's too pink. I used to have one that was like 010 or something. That it was too pink. I also I once dropped one foundation of that. Uh, this is 81 Fair Ivory, uh, but yeah, I don't remember much of this uh, product, so I'm gonna have to try that again. I'm gonna put it in my pile to try out, and I'm actually gonna put uh, 
this one there as well to see how they work. Yeah, they're both in the glass package, by the way. And this one's a Maybelline Dream Cushion Foundation. I think I used it like once or twice, but the problem with it is um, it's kind of dark. Like, it's more for... Um, actually, like, yeah, I put back the seal on. But it's more for summer, so I'm going to need to wait till I'm... I gain a bit more color in my face to determine whether I keep it or not. So for now it's staying. Okay, concealers. As you can tell, this one's my favorite concealer. It's uh, the Catrice Liquid Camouflage. I feel like this is the new packaging. And... This is the old one because it doesn't have the last up to last 12 hours. There's the difference. So yeah, I think this one's empty. Yeah, this one's empty, so it's just gonna go trash. This one is also empty. <laughs> Great. But yeah, I also like uh, with these concealers, I also kept like one in my bag that was almost out just for touch up in case I need them when I'm out of the house. So it's also trash. And this is the newest one, and this one is good. And I have them all in the color 005 Light Neutral. Natural. Yes, natural. So this is staying. Uh, this one, this Essence Camouflage Healthy Glow, I think it was called, because it rubbed off. I talked about it in my empties, I think. Um, it's a good shade, it covers pretty okay, but this one also is like dried out and the air gets in the container and yeah. It's good, like it's good, good, it's really cheap. So if you just need a concealer, uh, I did use it and I use it like quite a lot because this one's empty, but I don't think I would purchase, purchase it again. Definitely I prefer the Catrice one over this. So yeah, this one is gonna go to the trash because it's dried up and empty. And speaking of empty, this is the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age The Eraser Eye and I have it in the color... Where is the color even here? Light. I bought it quite a while ago because I heard like really good things about it but I think I just got the wrong shade and also maybe like the wrong type because I feel like there are a few types of this concealer with the sponge on the top uh, but yeah, I used it up um, like more on my cheeks, like my face, to kind of warm up my uh, skin than under my eyes, because it was too dark under my eyes. Although I think I did try to use it up under my eyes at the beginning, but that was a fail. But yeah, in general, good concealer, just uh, if you get the right, right shade for you. So yeah. And the last one is uh, NYX concealer, which is like a pot concealer. Um, I don't think it's the best. But I'm gonna still play around with it a bit more because I haven't that much. It's really dry. In general, I feel like it's dry, so it might need like some mixing or something. I think I tried with oils. I don't know, like now it feels kind of waxy. I don't know, I'm gonna have to still uh, kind of make my opinion, for, form my opinion about this one. So we'll see. Okay, I feel like I should speed up with literally taking me ages to uh, talk about this product. These. This is my favorite. The Rimmel Stay Matte. This is the transparent one. Love it. Have backups already of it. It's a stain. This is uh, from a brand called Pierre René. Uh, loose powder. I really like this one. Uh, it's almost empty. The packaging, I hate the packaging, like you definitely cannot travel travel with it, it just kind of like pops on like this, that's kind of it. But I really like it and I think I have one more backup, so it's staying. 
Uh, this one, it's dusty, so you know I haven't used it. Uh, it's from Bell. I bought it because I wanted to try a, a, like a mattifying one, but it's like way too pink for me, and also just doesn't look good on the face. It looks very, very powdery. So this one is going. It's also I think a bit old. Um, and this one, maybe it'll fit me. It's too dark for me in the winter. So I'm gonna have to get back to it uh, during the summer and see how I get along with it. Okay, let's go to brows maybe because they're right here. Uh, I feel like I had one more brow product. Oh yeah, here it is, with the liners. So this is my favorite one at the moment. This is Golden Rose um, Eyebrow Powder. I use it every day. I really like this one, it's staying. Essence Make Me Brow, also pretty good, staying. This is from Golden Rose. It's kind of like a liquid brow liner. It's pretty cool, although the shade for me is definitely not a match. It's like very warm toned, like not gonna work for me. Uh, so yeah, also not for also, also I don't think it would work for blondes. So I don't know. The concept is really fine, like the, the concept is really uh, good, but yeah, I don't know who could use actually this shade. So I got it as a good free with this one. So yeah, I tried to make it work, but it's not gonna, so trash. So this is staying. Uh, next up, a Vibo Eyebrow Pomade, Polish brand. Um, I like it, although I'm not using it that much, but I like played around with it, but yeah, it's still good. So it's not, it's not dried up, I think. Yeah, it's still good. So it's just staying for now. I'm gonna have to wipe my finger now. Staying. This one, it's a, no, not Catrice, a P2. The brand is called P2 and it's Eyebrow Express Pen. It's, you have to sharpen it and I like the color. So I sometimes, when I don't really go out, but I like to have my brows done, even for myself, I put this in my brow and I use the brush to kind of like disperse the color, if you know what I mean. Uh, so yeah, I might use it up. For now it's staying. And this is Essence Super Last 24 Hours Eyebrow Pomade Pencil Waterproof. <laughs> Such a mouthful. Uh, it's a bit waxing. Like, oh no, again a good shade. Has this weird little, oh, has this weird little brush at the back. But the brush doesn't really do much. I think I'll have to give it another chance. If not, it's gonna go bye bye okay uh bronzers highlighters and blushes here they are so definitely this this is kobo professional matte bronzer and contouring powder uh the best one for contouring i really like this and the shade nubian desert 311 really like cool cool toned for bronzer, I am really enjoying the Vibo Beach Cruiser. It's a really big pan as well. It is a bit uh, dusty, and also it has a has a scent. I think I got it on my nose. <laughs> has a scent. Uh, but yeah, I really like this one, so they're both staying. I actually really like this one. It's an Essence doing one uh, highlight and contouring stick. Uh, they're like cream sticks, this is the highlight part and the contour part. I'm trying to use it up. I really enjoy it when I don't have too much makeup on. I don't really use foundation, I just kind of create uh, the shadow and some highlight on my face with this. Highlighter, uh, my favorite one currently is this one from Golden Rose. It's a three pan. It's, a, it's like a strobing palette, so it's staying. This one from a brand Lovely, a 
this is a golden highlighter. Uh, this is also stained. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you kind of can. It's a stain, more intense highlighter. This duo, I actually didn't use it at first when I bought it. I didn't really know what to do with it. Uh, but now I get some nice use out of it. This is the highlighter part. It's very, very subtle. I don't know if you can even tell. And this is the bronzer one. Again, very subtle, a bit more like powdery. But I actually enjoy it quite, uh, quite a lot on like a daily basis. Just like a bit of bronze, nothing, nothing too much. So it's staying. Now. Blushes. I don't really wear blushes, so I don't know well, what happened here. I don't know why I have so many of them, as in four. That's a lot for me, for somebody who doesn't use a bronzer. Just some uh, makeup removing wipes. For the swatches and stuff. Um, so yeah, I don't know what to do with it. I, I don't know what to do with it. I, for example, use this one as my eyeshadow really nice like a, almost the brick red color so I think it's gonna stay as an eyeshadow same with this one but more like neutral this one is very powdery by the way this one from Essence uh, again this one also I use as an eyeshadow if I get to open it yep um, more yeah, this is like more orangey and to wipe my hands and this one from Catrice which is a difficult one to open uh, this one is shimmery, also this one's a bit more shimmery as well this is like pure shimmer and this one is pink so completely different from the rest can you even tell the colors? Kind of. So yeah, I think I'm gonna put them in my like maybe pile to try them out to see how I get along with them. I should probably try using them as a blushes, but I don't know if I want to do that. 